Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a video for all you guys that might be needing this in the future as well as right now. So basically, there is a program that allows you to upgrade and downgrade your guys' iDevice to whichever iOS which is currently being signed by Apple without having the need for iTunes. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and try to smash up the 10 likes on this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support as usual, and go ahead and comment something down below for a chance to get pinned. So this video is being brought to you guys by Tenorshare, which is an amazing company that has been reaching out to me very recently, and they have been giving me some products to show you guys for your guys' iDevice. So they are sponsoring this video right now with their program called iAnyGo, which basically, like I said, allows you to upgrade and downgrade your guys' iDevice to whichever iOS version, which is currently being signed by Apple. So go ahead and go for the free trial and support them by going ahead and purchasing this product. Links will be down inside of the description below. So let me go ahead and just demo this whole entire program to you guys. So I'm not actually going to downgrade or upgrade my iDevice since I'm pretty much stuck on iOS 10.2 unless there is a upgrade and jailbreak for the latest iOS version. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that this is the GUI for iAnyGo. It's pretty simplistic, which is why I love their programs. It's really, really simple. So this is what happens when you plug in your guys' iDevice. You guys will get just two options, one click to upgrade and one click to downgrade. So as of making this video, there's currently no other iOS version that is currently being signed by Apple. So if I go in and click on it, nothing pops up and it says the iOS version that I've installed is too old so basically there's no other iOS version to be signed so right here as you guys can see I am on iOS 10.2 now if I go back let's say for example I do want to upgrade and for some reason my iDevice is just being really buggy or I decided hey I do not want to jailbreak anymore let's just go ahead and jump the gun and go to iOS 11 so go ahead and click on the upgrade now as you guys can see there is a new list of iOS versions that are currently being signed now currently like I said in my past videos for some reason Apple is currently still signed iOS 10.3.3 so if I wanted to jump the gun from iOS 10.2 to iOS 10.3.3 and just stay there for right now I can go ahead and just click that and if you guys want you guys can actually just download the IPSW and have it stored on your guys's computer and then for in the future you guys will have a quicker and faster way of upgrading slash downgrading your guys's iDevice so right now I'm just gonna stop it since I do not need it but that is just a quick demo saying that I can actually just download it on my computer. Now, let's say, for example, I did download it previously on the website IPSW.me and I do not want to download it with iAnyGo. You guys can just press import right here and it'll bring up this menu and then you guys can just choose whichever directory where the IPSW is, select it, and then it'll store itself inside of the iAnyGo program. Now, as I'm making this video right now, as you guys can see, iOS 11.0.1 .1, all the way to iOS 11.0.3 is currently being signed, which are the standard versions. Now, if you guys want to choose the developer or public beta, I'm not sure which one it is right here, but iOS 11.1 .1, beta 4 and beta 5 are currently being signed by Apple. And if I want, I can go ahead and choose any of these six iOS versions to upgrade to from iOS 10.2. So it is a pretty neat program. I do recommend you guys getting this. I am currently going to be using this for any of my other iOS devices if I want to upgrade or downgrade them. Let's say, for example, if I needed to upgrade it to iOS 11 if there's a jailbreak and I do not want to use my personal device. So I really recommend you guys using this program. It is really simple, very straight to the point, and I'm pretty sure you guys will like this. So if you guys like this quick video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Like I said, let's go ahead and smash up to 10 likes on this video. Don't forget to also subscribe to this channel because I am so close to 1,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for the journey right now and also don't forget to snapshot this outro or just scan it on your guys's i device to add me on snapchat also don't forget to follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out